New tonight, just hours before the deadline, one of the city's oldest bars is saved from shutting down. Nears Tavern, open for nearly 200 years, avoids a last call. CBS 2's Ali Bauman is in Woodhaven, Queens. And Nears Tavern was supposed to close its doors this Sunday. It just couldn't keep up with the rising rents. But thanks to its past and present patrons, the bar has been saved in the nick of time. A goodbye party turned congratulations at Nears Tavern Friday night. This bar has been in Woodhaven since 1829, before Queens was even included in New York City. The hit movie Goodfellas gave the place some notoriety. But it never gave the neighborhood joint a big head. So this bar was built for the working class of Woodhaven and Queens. Lloyd Gordon first saved the bar on 78th Street and 88th Avenue from closing more than a decade ago. I'm an immigrant that came here and I didn't know how to read well, and the community came together and helped me. When I saw this was closing 11 years ago, I decided it's my time to give back to Queens. But recently, he says a new landlord has been pushing for higher rents, and Nears was on the brink of closing once again. I had no idea when I was on the radio that Lloyd would call. Lloyd called into the mayor's Friday morning radio interview, rallied the neighborhood, and got the support of the Queen's Chamber of Commerce. We got the landlord in the room. We spent two hours at the Chamber of Commerce today. I locked the door and said, we're not going to leave till we have a deal. The landlord is backing down. The landlord is doing the right thing to help Lloyd, to help Lloyd out here. We got this far because, uh, you know, the people. The people. It's not me. It was the people. Looking around this room tonight. I feel like I have an extended family now. I was like, oh, man, <laughs> my family has grown. <laughs> and the owner says he hopes the tavern will now serve as a reminder to the entire neighborhood of the importance of supporting all the local businesses. From Woodhaven, Queens, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. And in addition to renegotiating the rent, the city is also giving the tavern a $90,000 grant.